Do you live in Florida and you are thinking about moving to Asheville, North Carolina? This one's for you. Hi, I'm Beth Shadler with Tried and True Realty powered by eXp. And we are living in Asheville and we explore what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play in Asheville, North Carolina and the surrounding mountains. I get calls and texts and Zoom invites all the time from people just like you who are thinking about moving to Asheville. And it's my passion and pleasure to help you explore that possibility and find the perfect place for you. So give us a call, shoot us a text, days, nights, weekends, it doesn't matter, with that link below to schedule a Zoom session and we help people move here and we absolutely love it. So let's do it. In today's video, we're gonna compare Florida to Asheville. Hmm, that might be too hard to do. Just kidding. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell and we'll alert you every time we make a new video that's probably gonna interest you. So Florida, known for its sandy beaches and vibrant lifestyle, and then Asheville, nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains, offer contrasting but equally appealing living experiences. In terms of similarities, both Florida and Asheville boast natural, beautiful surroundings. Florida's palm fringed beaches and Asheville's big majestic mountains providing both residents opportunities for lots of adventure and breathtaking scenery. But there's a lot of differences as well, as you can imagine. North Carolina is in the middle of the East Coast, like most of us know. New York and Florida are reachable on a road trip, not too far away, but it does take some dedication. However, as we delve deeper, we discover the unique charms that await those moving to Asheville. So Asheville's known as Land of the Sky. It is a vibrant, artistic city with a rich cultural heritage. You stroll through Asheville streets and you'll encounter stunning historic architecture and art galleries, showcasing local talent and lively street performers of all types. There's it's quite a lively crew out there. The city's bohemian atmosphere fosters creativity and a really strong sense of community. Now, when it comes to the cost of living in Asheville and housing, um, it tends to be more affordable than certain parts of Florida. Even though some locals can complain about the price of housing as it's increased in the last few years and priced people out, which is unfortunate because those are the artists that made Asheville so wonderful. Um, and Asheville offers a wide range of neighborhoods. The farther out you go, the less expensive it's gonna be and the more land you get. But these range of housing opportunities will suit different lifestyles from urban dwellings downtown to peaceful suburban areas. The housing market's really diverse here with options ranging from charming cottages to modern condos and spacious family homes, even countryside. And the cost of housing in Asheville is a tad higher than the national average. The city's popularity as a desirable place to be has gotten out. The word, it's not a secret anymore and it's led to increased demand and higher home prices and rental rates and it's really competitive as well. It's not impossible, just competitive, and you need to know what you're doing. However, it's worth noting that housing costs can vary greatly, and it really pays to have a good professional guiding you through the process. So, when it comes to utilities, utilities in Asheville tend to be slightly higher than the national average. Why? I'm not exactly sure but the cost for electricity and water and heating can contribute to the overall cost of living here, so it should be taken into consideration. And transportation costs are pretty much on par with the national average. Gas prices, vehicle maintenance, and public transportation costs are comparable to other areas across the country. Food and groceries, though, can be a little bit higher in Asheville. Um, there's a there's an emphasis on local and organic and specialty food products that probably contribute to that. Healthcare costs are pretty, pretty normal and in line with the national aver average and the city has reputable healthcare facilities, but the specific cost of medical services can vary depending on your insurance, of course. Overall, while the cost of living in Asheville might be a little bit higher than its counterparts, it's important to consider the city as a whole and its unique characteristics. 
and its natural beauty with the mountains and vibrant community with arts and music and cultural offerings that kind of increase the quality of life that it offers. Now, let's talk about the climate. There's gonna be a little bit of a difference in Florida, of course. So Florida is renowned for its year-round warmth and sunshine, while Asheville experiences four distinct seasons that attract many residents. Asheville's moderate summers and vibrant springs and breathtaking autumn foliage, colors just explode everywhere, provide so many opportunities for people who love the outdoors. And winters bring occasional snow offering people the chance to enjoy skiing and cozying up by the fireplace. Um, there are very few really true snow days though. If anything, we get some ice where the roads have been rained upon and then they froze and can be slippery. But there's few and far between really like snow days where we are packed in, snow, snowed in. It just doesn't happen that often. Um, our kids are always so excited when we get some snow because we don't get it enough for them. In Asheville, you can sit outside pretty comfortably about 86% of the year. Now that is a statistic that I thoroughly researched in my own head and proved to be absolutely accurate. But in all truth, like you can be outside most of the time and feel pretty good. There are very little bugs during most of the year. So there's no need for a lot of screened in porches. But if you do have a pool in the Asheville area and you wanna use it, more often than not, it's better to have it heated because there's only a few months out of the year where it gets really hot enough to heat up that water. But actually, we tend to have more hot tubs here because even in the summer, you can turn down the hot tub and use it all year long. We also swim in the rivers here called swimming holes instead of having the Florida beaches, even though both of our beaches offer some sand, it's true. Asheville's known as a climate refuge. Due to its moderate climate and abundant natural resources and commitment to sustainability. The city's temperate weather surrounded by the mountains provides a welcoming environment for those seeking relief from extreme weather patterns. There's very little to worry about when it comes to weather here, except for maybe flooding. We do get a lot of rain, but most of us live in the mountains and we tend to live on the hillside and out of the flood zones. So just pay attention to when you decide to live here and what kind of house you buy and make sure it's not in a flood zone. Um, that we don't really have a lot of fires. We don't really have a lot of tornadoes or mudslides. And I have never witnessed one hurricane here, except for like the bands of rain that come from the aftermath of one on the coast. Now, one thing that might be of interest to you is that in Asheville, there are fewer gated communities and HOAs with amenities. Now, don't get me wrong, we have some. They're just not as predominant as they are in Florida. And the HOA fees are typically about a fourth of what I've found pe from people that are coming from Florida. Now, in terms of taxes, North Carolina has a slightly higher income tax rate compared to Florida, which has no state income tax. However, North Carolina offers various tax deductions and exemptions that can offset the difference for many residents. And then let's talk about traffic. Florida's major cities can be notorious for heavy traffic and congestion, especially during peak tourist seasons. Asheville, on the other hand, offers a more manageable traffic situation with less congestion and shorter commuting times. Now the locals here in Asheville always say the traffic is terrible, oh my gosh. But it's funny because when the newcomers come here, they always laugh and they're like, this is nothing compared to where I came from. So it's all relative. And lastly, the people. There's a bit of a different vibe in Asheville, even though we are a mix of people from all over. Asheville is known for its diverse and eclectic population, which you probably already know, attracting a wide range of individuals from various different backgrounds and walks of life. And the, the city's unique blend of creativity and diversity, outdoor lifestyle, contributes to its vibrant, welcoming community and uh, who we are really. Uh, there are some kinds of people that you may encounter in Asheville, and these are just some examples. So lots of artists and creative people. For a long time, Asheville has been a haven for artists and musicians, and the city's thriving art scene is supportive of community and draws painters and sculptors and musicians. And you'll find art galleries and music venues showcasing local talent um, all over the place. And then there's the nature enthusiasts. 
Asheville has nature all around it and it's stunning. Um, there, it is just a magnet for nature lovers and hikers and bikers and adventurers all kind of flock to the area so they can go hiking and fishing and kayaking. And then there is the food and craft beer scene. Asheville is renowned for its culinary scene and its craft beer culture. They like some beer around here. So foodies and beer enthusiasts flock to the area just like the outdoor enthusiasts. And there's food festivals and there's local breweries. The city really embraces sustainable agriculture and supports local farmers, farm to table type of cuisine. And they really appreciate organic locally sourced food. And we can't forget about the wellness and health advocates. Asheville has a reputation and is a hub for wellness and alternative health practices. I don't even know if they're alternative anymore, but yoga studios, wellness centers, holistic healing practitioners, massage therapists, people like that. There's a lot of them here. Almost as many as there are realtors. Don't say that. There's only one realtor in town. Just kidding. So Asheville has a really appealing climate, like we talked about. Natural beauty and a vibrant community. So it makes it really attractive for people who are retiring. Many retirees are drawn to the city's welcoming atmosphere and cultural offerings. The presence of retirement communities and senior centers ensures that retirees can connect with peers and they have lots of activities that are kind of tailored to their interests. And Asheville has a strong culture of activism and social consciousness. So that's another type of person that lives here. The city's home to many different individuals who are passionate about environmental sustainability and social justice and community engagement. Activists and change makers work to promote eco-friendly practices and support communities for positive change. Another kind of person that lives here uh, are like entrepreneurs and professionals. It has a strong economy and thriving entrepreneurial spirit. You almost have to bring a job here because there's not tons of them. The city attracts professionals from different fields like technology and education and the arts. And many are really drawn to Asheville's vibrant uh, business community. There are people from all types of walks of life that really find a place for themselves in Asheville. We always think like uh, we welcome everyone here, uh, especially, you know, when they contribute to that, the unique and dynamic character of the region. So why would you want to move from Florida to Asheville or have I totally changed your mind? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. We are living in Asheville and we want to hear from you. Send us an email, a text, book a Zoom call, and let's help explore the possibility that Asheville may be your place. If you want us to make a video that you've not yet seen, then let us know. We're happy to make it. Until then, ciao for now.